Yeah, looking to this weekend, who knows what can happen? There's so many permutations with this. I guess your only focus is making sure you're in a position to, to go through should you do, you know, should anyone else drop out, really? That, that's exactly right. I mean, the, the important thing for us is that we've got to the last round of the games with something genuinely to fight for and something tangible to play for. And that's pretty rarely happened for us in the Champions Cup. The last time it happened, we kind of went through in some quite remarkable circumstances. But the most important part of that was that we got a, a very important win here at home and that let other things fall into place. And we've got to kind of attack the game in a very similar manner. They'd almost not worry too much about what's going to happen anywhere else. Don't let things get too far out of our hands, but go and put a performance in that, A, first of all, we can be proud of um, and shows the real qualities we have, which was our, our big focus last week against Montpellier. That often takes care of itself then, and we tend to perform well. Uh, and hopefully then we'll, we'll get the result and the scores we need to, to give ourselves the best chance to go through. But you know, we, we do have to remember that you know, Glasgow can have a big part to play in this game. Um, you know, they're, they're a proud side, they're doing very well in, the, in their league. Um, they've got some, some, very, uh, some very good Scottish internationals who will come back into the side, along with some current ones who are already up and running and playing. Six Nations is just around the corner. You know, there's an awful lot of reasons for a lot of good players to play well for Glasgow. You know, and we've got to make sure that we turn up in the right frame of mind to, to make things go well for us first and not think it's a matter of Glasgow filling a, fulfilling a fixture and actually we've just got to go there and, and manage our way through it and try and tick some boxes and get what we want. We've actually got to throw everything we have at it and that will give us an opportunity to get what we need. You mentioned Glasgow, obviously the opposition this weekend, but last weekend against Leinster they kind of put out a, a second string side of Kate, mm. essentially. Is it harder to prepare for this game, not knowing who they're going to put out against you, or is it not really a matter? I think the, the important thing is for us to kind of expect, expect a very, very good Glasgow side and prepare ourselves in that manner, because then you can't really get, get too much wrong. You know, if we, if we expect it's going to be a very tough fixture, which, let's say, which I think it will be, and we prepare that way and we prepare ourselves in the best manner uh, and we talk about the qualities we want to show, but as I say, we give ourselves an opportunity. And that's all you can do really in these games. It's not about, it's not about me standing here and saying A, B, C will win us the game because it, it doesn't work like that. We will have to, from 1 to 15, go on there, win a lot of little battles. And if we win a lot of little battles, we win a lot of little moments, we give ourselves kind of foundation to maybe progress as the game goes on and try and produce what we need out of the game but there's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of very important moments in the game that we're going to have to work very hard at first and to get to the level of last weekend is going to take some doing isn't it i mean that scoreline 41 10 made people really sit up and take notice against you know all blacks spring box you know top top class players is it hard to re reproduce that again um potentially yes but i think the important thing is to remember what what did produce it and Actually, a lot of our scores, although you look at that score and it, it feels like it's a, you know, a huge, huge gap, the reality was, you know, what probably created that kind of a scoreline for us wasn't so much our attack, but the fact that, you know, Montpellier players were looking up at the scoreboard and they only had three points on the board for nearly the whole game. It was only the last couple of minutes that they scored their try. And that's probably what created as much pressure um, and allowed the opportunities for us to score as anything else. You know, if they'd have been looking at the scoreboard and after 30 minutes they'd scored 15 or 20 points, I don't think we'd have got anywhere near 40 points. They'd have had something to fight for um, and the pressure would have been completely different. You know, we didn't score a try until nearly 30 minutes. We scored our first points, our seven points, you know, at 30 minutes. It was 7-3 at half time. You know, there's, there was a lot that was created by the fact that Montpellier only scored three points and that we defended very well and we fought for all those moments. You know, if we think we can go to Glasgow and concede 15 or 20 points, if it's going to be OK because we score 40, you know, that's how you get things very, very wrong. And I think that's the important thing for us is to refocus on what will really create pressure. Uh, and a large part of that will be the quality of our defence, the quality of our set piece and the quality of our discipline. And hopefully then over the course of the 80 minutes that will allow us to have our own moments and create our own pressure that we can, we can build a score from. Just about Glasgow, the weather up there is not looking too flash at the moment. Mm. You know, is that going to be a factor on scoring tries you know, on their pitch or are they just going to sweep it away and you, you're kind of good to go? Well, at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're going to Scotland in January. so. We're not, we've not been expecting like a, a dry, hot, sunny day out there. You know, we've been, we've been ready for it to be probably cold, possibly to snow and rain, and obviously a little bit of wind. But reality is, some of the conditions you get at Sandy Park can be some of the toughest you'll ever play in. You know, uh, especially over the last three or four weeks over the Christmas period. I think we've had a good deal of preparation in, in difficult circumstances. At the end of the day, you know, it'll be the same for Glasgow as it is for us. And, You've almost got to put that at the back of your mind, as I say, go moment by moment and, and not get too carried away with what the overall weather picture is or, as I say, what scores are required, but just deal with what's right in front of you one moment at a time. Just a quick one on selection then for this weekend. Anyone that's sort of out since 
the last game or anyone that's come back into favour possibly this week? Well, we don't look too bad, to be honest. Although there was a, it was a tough physical game last weekend, the only guy who's, who's a significant doubt is obviously Jack Yendall. Um, came off soon after going on as a replacement uh, with a pretty badly sprained ankle. Um, Jack Knowles, not, I don't think he's going to come come good yet this weekend. Uh, Sam Hill took a blow to his shoulder, but it's probably a little bit early for us to, to rule him in or out at the moment. So we've come through okay. Um, we'll be taking a good side there who've played a lot of good competitive rugby for us. Um, our, challenge, our challenge isn't so much the team we put on the pitch, it's the performance, the performance we put on the pitch more than the players. Mm -hmm.